people need to realize then the problems of blue light from a from an evolutionary biology perspective, right? That blue light actually, as you said earlier, might one day be regarded as the smoking of our time. So can we dig into that a little bit? Like what mm -hmm. is blue light? I guess to start, what are the problems that it introduces to biological organisms like ourselves? Right. Um, and, you know, what, I guess, what would be the major motivations for someone to switch away from a blue light producing technology to a non I know, light? Blue. Great. And um, the real pioneers in this, I'm just a transmitter of the knowledge, are folks like Jack Cruz, um, Alexander Wunsch, a lot of these circadian rhythm researchers, uh, Jacob Lieberman. There's all these folks that have been going for a while saying, well, light really matters. Mm -hmm. And um, I like the framing of when we decentralize, you're always still choosing to centralize around something but choose to centralize around something transcendent. Uh -huh. When you decentralize, instead of a doctor who you're putting your life in front of, you're centralizing around the sun, around mm -hmm. nature, around God, whatever it may mm -hmm. be, right? These things that are transcendent. And so for me, the first thing to realize is biology is built around light. Mm -hmm. uh, the reason we sleep is because in the past, we didn't have as intense of an atmosphere. Uh, there was way more gamma rays and radiation so if you try to do um, you, uh, you try to do mitosis, if you try to do any DNA replication during the day, you would get off the charts numbers of mutations because the radiation would hit it. Mm. So guess what sleep is? Is when the sun goes away and there's less radiation, that's when you go into a state of then doing growth and regeneration. And that's when you have most of your main DNA replication activities because it can happen more safely. Wow. So the basic cycle of biology comes from a cooperation with the sun. Wow. And so if you think about us evolving, we're trying to look for what's stable and what's not stable in the environment to adapt to. Because imagine if it was cold and you grew three foot feet of hair mm -hmm. and the next day is hot yeah. and you like lose all of it, you right. would die. Right. So you're like, wait, temperature is not stable right. unless it happens for uh, six months in a row or three weeks in a row or whatever it yeah. may be. And so one of the things that's most stable in the environment outside of a solar eclipse or a volcano covering the earth is the sun. Yeah. And so when the sun comes up every day, that is a solid signal for biology to partner with. Yes. This is, yeah, ad with. Ad adaptation centers on the invariance of the environment. At the yeah. invariance, yeah. beautifully said. Yeah. And so it turns out the sun, when it rises, it's red shifted and a lot of infrared. That's the case every day with the sunrise. It turns out the sun at noon and 1 p.m. has a lot of blue light and is a balanced spectrum. That's the case every day. Mm -hmm. And as the sun, when it sets at night, is also back to being redshifted again. And that's the case every day. And so what biology has done is created circadian rhythms that are based around the sun. Mm -hmm. And like any system, you have a goal but just because of a lot of noise in the environment, you kind of drift from the goal. Mm -hmm. And if you drift for too long, you're kind of out of whack. Mm -hmm. And so what biology does is every day, it retrains itself, re-entrains itself to the sun. Mm. And then it drifts and it re-entrains and it drifts. And so the system never quite falls apart because it's always coming back to a stable signal. And every day at 1 p.m., you get a certain spectrum. And every sunrise and every sunset is basically the same. Mm. And so the body was like, dude, this is an uncorruptible signal. Mm. We will depend on this heavily. And so for the first time in history, when we were creating artificial blue light that's unbalanced by infrared or the rest of the visible light spectrum, our biology is like, what the I always trust blue light. Wow. If there's blue light, it's 2 p.m., baby. Let's do everything that says 2 p.m., mm. right? Uh, and there's a bunch more stuff. Yeah. The way it affects your dopamine, the way it affects right. mitochondria. But the simplest way to do it is it is screwing up the clocks of your body. Wow. And Barbara Tversky has a book that says the first function of the brain is for movement uh, across all of this, mm -hmm. which is another way of saying cooperation, mm -hmm. which is another way of saying timing. Mm -hmm. If you look at a computer, it will always say 3.5 gigahertz or 4 gigahertz. Mm -hmm. Have you ever wondered what that gigahertz is? It's a description of the clock of a computer. Uh -huh. The computer ticks 4 uh -huh. billion times per second. Uh -huh. Why is it described by its clock? Because everything is synchronized by the clock. Wow. On this tick, 
we're going to do this piece of math. On this tick, we're going to do this. On this tick, we're going to divide. Tick, 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 tick. Huh. You use a clock to coordinate activity. Yeah. And so basically our body has all these clocks, which we call our circadian rhythms, um, to coordinate activity. Ooh, we release growth hormone here. Ooh, yeah. let's reduce uh, norepinephrine here. Ooh, let's do insulin there. Mm. And all of that is happening in some like really complex, fantastical system uh, that needs to coordinate with each other. Mm -hmm. And so I like the analogy of, if imagine you were catching a train and the clock on your watch and the clock the conductor is doing and the clock that somebody else has all says different times. Right. You're not catching that train. For sure. That's chaos. Yeah. So imagine our body is getting confused because our display is telling one of the clocks in our brain, the suprachiasmatic nucleus, it's a different time. Mm -hmm. Yet the clock in our pancreas says something different. Mm -hmm. And they're all like, wait, we thought it's 2 p.m. Wait, I thought it's 6 p.m. Wait, what? <laughs> And so when everybody is because of their clock is missing their train, in the real world, we call that chaos. Yes. Chaos in the body, because everybody's missing its train, yes. is called inflammation. Wow. And so you start to see a lot of these problems of autoimmunity and inflammation yeah. and anxiety and sleep and uh, chronic stress having a contribution from this internal bodily chaos wow. from blue light and this lack of connection to nature and to the things that are invariant. Thank you.